I suppose the first question comes is, does mandatory quarantine work? Um, mandatory quarantine was introduced at a time when people were talking about zero COVID and where there was a strong belief at the start of the whole process that it was possible to put a fence around the country and protect it from incoming virus uh, and variants. Um, I don't think anybody would agree that zero COVID could possibly work uh, at this point in time. And I don't think that anybody would agree that actually mandatory quarantine actually works uh, at this point in time as well. Because the minute that a variant has actually been identified in any part of the world, you could bet your bottom dollar that it's likely to be here already. That it's likely to be in circulation uh, in other parts of the country, uh, in other parts of the world anyways. Um, so then someone might make an argument that mandatory quarantine should be used to stem the flow, uh, uh, etc. Um, but I would say that the, the, the issue is that the government is looking in the wrong places in, in relation to this. That the government is leaning on the people uh, in relation to restrictions and radically reducing people's rights. And the Irish Council for Civil Liberties themselves have indicated that there's a significant human rights aspect to these types of detentions uh, uh, as well. Um, and yet the obvious stuff with regards to protection of life is not being focused upon. So most of the deaths that have happened in this state since the start of the illness have happened uh, in a hospital or a nursing home. Most of the people who have died have actually caught COVID in a, a nursing home or a hospital. They are the, the locations uh, of most damage and most pain and most suffering. And yet actually they're the areas that probably get the least amount of debate uh, and discussion uh, in this chamber. Um, I can't remember the last time that we had a focus in the national media or politically on those two sectors. Uh, we're focusing right now on children in schools when no child has died under the age of 14 since the start uh, of the pandemic, when 55 people under the age of 44 have died uh, in the whole state in the last two years with COVID. Uh, less than have, have, have died uh, as a result of car accidents. These are, 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 are important, uh, shocking facts that these deaths have happened and our hearts go out to those families who have lost their loved ones in these circumstances. All of those are tragic situations and we do need as a society to make sure that we do our best to protect each life that there exists. But my worry is that the government are actually involved in window dressing here to a certain extent. Window dressing uh, in the same way masks for school children is actually window dressing. That's hospital capacity, the bringing of ICU beds from 300 to 560, uh, the bringing of hospital beds from 14,000 to 22,000. These are the actual actions that make a significant difference in the saving of life, in the protection of life, and also in making sure that society can function.